Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the United States Capitol. Uh, we're honored to be joined today by members of the Diplomatic Corps, former ambassadors, representatives from the State Department and the U.S. Mint, and leaders of the Jewish community throughout our country. Shortly before Christmas, in 1944, Raoul Wallenberg did something many of us have had to do. Told his mother he wouldn't be home for Christmas or home for the holidays. I must send you my best wishes for Christmas by this means, he wrote. I hope the peace so long for it is not so far away. The bottom of the note, he added, lots of kisses to Nina and her little girl. Well, that Nina, of course, was Raul's sister, uh, who is with us today, as are several members of the family. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> By the time he sent that letter, Wall Wallenberg had saved more lives than we can count. He had done much of the work on his own. And his daring was so dumbfounding that the Nazis aimed their guns above his head. <clears throat> they were pep perpetrating what Churchill called the most horrible crime ever committed in the whole of history. But before this man, they cowered. You could say he was like a comet across the dark sky seen once in a lifetime. Yet, we know he burns on, which is why we are all here today. In America's history, only seven individuals have been made honorary citizens. The first was Churchill. Wallenberg was the second. Uh, to this honor, we added the Congressional Gold Medal, a tradition that began with George Washington himself. Uh, this medal is a tribute to a citizen of the world, but it is really more than that. It's a commitment to honor his family and his memory and to tell his story and to always seek the truth. Now, this is not mu too much to do. In fact, it's the least we can do. For his deeds may be beyond our capacity, but his lessons are not. The answer to fear is always courage. None of God's children, not one, is alone. And of course, honoring your mother. I hope you all enjoy today's program. 